Hi right, guys, how's it going? This is Root Junkie here, and uh, today we're going to be talking about the Samsung Gear Live smartwatch and Android Wear. We're going to talk about how to get into bootloader mode and manually factory reset this device in stock recovery. So let's get into it. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is going to be the process. This is very, very simple to do on your watch. Um, factory reset manually by getting into bootloader mode. So to do this, we're going to uh, look at our watch here. You got the little button on the side, the little power button. You're going to just keep holding that button. Um, once this thing will eventually reboot, just keep holding it. And you're going to swipe from this corner down to the other corner as soon as you see the Samsung logo. There it is. So I'll do two swipes. Sometimes it might take two. There you go, that's one swipe I did and it actually got into it. And now you're in bootloader mode. So that's easily how to get into bootloader mode from here. You're just going to swipe down once, swipe down again, and then it highlights recovery in blue. Then you're going to swipe across and that's going to boot to recovery. Um, very, very simple. If you ever reset any of your Android devices, it looks just like this. Just tap once and there you go, there is the menu options. So we're just going to swipe down and swipe down again. And then it says um, wipe data factory reset, swipe across. Sometimes I'm not swiping good, there it goes. Um, then I'm gonna go down all the way to delete all user data. It really isn't much user data, just apps that are installed right now. So then you just swipe across there too. And there you go. Wiping data, formatting data, it's going to format cache and you will have a factory reset uh, Samsung Gear Live watch. It is that simple. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and watch this thing through. So it took about a minute to format data, and now it's formatting cache, which should be quite a bit faster. Uh, probably a good uh, 10, 15 seconds. Uh, all right, so when this thing is done, there you go. Um, you are on the reboot system now already. You can just go ahead and swipe across and your device will reboot. First boot up is gonna take a little longer than a normal boot up of your watch, so be ready for that. Um, no more than probably three to five minutes, um, maybe even faster than that. And then it'll be like new out of the box, you'll have to resync it to your, wa uh, your smartphone and you'll be good to go. There you are. So there you go, that's pretty much it. Pretty simple, just go ahead and reconnect your watch to your phone, reset up all your stuff. All your apps will automatically uh, reinstall after uh, doing your factor reset. So that's really, really cool. Uh, if you like videos like this, uh, tutorials on how to do stuff on your watches, your tablets, your phones, um, please check me out at uh, my channel. I'll give you guys links to that in the description down below along with uh, some links to XDA and all that kind of good stuff. It'll all be down there. Uh, please subscribe. Hope you guys like this content and uh, stay tuned for more like this. And we'll catch you next time. Root Junkie out.